You know that feeling when you graduate high school and you think to yourself, what now? It's like all of a sudden you have freedom, but yet you still feel so trapped. You reach the end of your high school journey and you have to go on to the real world, deal with real problems, and face the struggles of being an adult. You're now faced with all this responsibility that you've never had to face before. It can be scary, all of a sudden, having this pressure placed on you. So Mia, how's it going? It's been alright. My mom's crazy as ever. And what's she been doing? Well, every time she sees that I'm having one of my mood swings, she starts yelling at me and makes me feel stupid and like my feelings are invalid. Explain to me what happens during one of these mood swings. Well, I get really quiet and I just want everyone to disappear and to be left alone. And then I become angry and grumpy and just become so hard to enjoy things. And then I'll see people around me having a good time and I can't help but feel jealous that they're having a good time and I can't. How does this affect your relationships with your friends? When I'm with my friends and I feel myself getting grumpy, I find an excuse to leave so I can avoid being grumpy or mean towards them. Uh, explain to me what happens in a good mood swing. My friends love being around me when I'm in a good mood because I'm funny and I'm fun to be around. And I can get schoolwork done and focusing on schoolwork helps distract me from my sad mood swings. I see. Um, since keeping your mind occupied helps keep you distracted from these mood swings, I suggest you find a hobby just to keep your mind off of things for a while. Who knows, you, maybe you'll find a new passion. Like what? I recall you talking about enjoying painting in an earlier session. Perhaps you should take some art classes. I know an amazing art teacher. She has a lot in common with you. She gives lessons to some of my patients. And I think she'd be a great influence on you. I'll give you her card. I'll give her a call and let her know that you're interested, if you are in fact interested. I mean, I'm open to it. Terrific. You should give her a call and make an appointment. I'm sure she'd be thrilled to have you. Thank you, Dr. Whitley. You're welcome. We'll see you next week, Mia. Mia! Did you forget something? Um, I don't think so. Your sister? You were supposed to take her to school. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. Yeah, don't think that just because you've graduated that you can slack off of your responsibilities. What's your excuse? I had a therapy appointment. Are you still convinced you're bipolar? I'm diagnosed, and Dr. Whitley has been helping me with my mood swings. Those mood swings are just a part of you being a teenager. Your sister has them. I had them. It's a natural part of growing up. Don't need to put a silly label on it. Is that all you have to say is okay, whatever? Don't forget who pays for your sessions, or who puts a roof over your head, or who puts gas in your car. Okay, sorry mom, it's just if you don't believe me, there's nothing I can do to convince you. <laughs> You've always had a flair for the drama, but that doesn't mean you have a silly disorder. Just because I have a cough doesn't mean I have pneumonia. I'm clinically diagnosed. Yes. Clinically diagnosed into wasting money. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Nothing I could say or do would convince you otherwise. So what's the point in arguing? I swear you are so stubborn that if I were to break my leg, you'd only see it as a sprained ankle. And you just can't admit that sometimes I'm right. See? Again, making a scene. Is this what you want? 
to devalidate what a doctor who has gone through years and years of schooling has to say because of your closed-minded beliefs? I don't care. Think what you will. You're ridiculous, Mina. Why don't you just grow up and realize that everyone has problems and that therapist can't solve them all? Oh yeah? Like you getting over dad by drinking yourself to death? You don't know anything, Mia. Darling, you must be Mia? Uh, yes, nice to meet you, Miss Lana. Oh, a pleasure to meet you too. And please, call me Mindy. So, what do we do in this art class? I kind of expected it to be a group type of thing. Oh, well, it's a different kind of art class where I teach the students one-on-one -on -one based on their skill level. Would you like to get started back here? Just have a seat right here, and you put your canvas here. Now, I want you to paint anything you want, and there is no right or wrong way to do this, okay? So tell me, um, when were you diagnosed? Um, well, I've always had these mood swings where I'll be happy one second and then sad the other without a real reason why. But it got especially bad after my dad died. Mm, I know what you mean. When I was in high school, my mother was diagnosed with cancer. And I got so depressed that no one wanted to be friends with me. So I started doing art. Painting, drawing, sculpting whatever I could find. And it really helped me through that dark time. Did she survive? Oh, fortunately she did. But recently she passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, it's okay. She was a mean old bird anyways. Yeah, my mom's the same way. Ever since my dad died, she's just been awful to my sister and I. And she drowns her sorrows in alcohol. Mm. Some people just don't know how to cope with death. Yeah. And she's convinced that me being bipolar is just another term for not being able to deal with my problems. Some people just don't understand. And they need to be educated. Yeah. Nothing I could say or do would convince her that I'm not just making this all up. She sounds stubborn. <laughs> Very stubborn. Well, I know firsthand that parents aren't always supportive as we wish they would be, but you just have to put up with it and find ways to get around it. For me, I stuck with art, and who knows, maybe it'll be the same for you. I want to see what you've got so far. Oh, darling, it is beautiful. You have a true talent. Thanks. Have you ever thought of entering any competitions? You can get scholarships if you place. I've never really been that serious about art, but I could try. Well, I personally know some of the judges. I think they would love your work. Nice to see you again, Mia. How was your week? It was really good for the first time in forever. Why is that? Well, it was thanks to Mindy. See, I told you you would like her. She really understands what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. And it was really nice to just talk and paint and forget about all my problems. And she thinks I have a chance at an art competition. That's excellent. I knew you two would click right away.
I messed up. I destroyed it. The painting. Now? Okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Mindy? Oh, hello, darling. What happened? I, um, I had a mini breakdown. Why, darling? I don't know, I just started thinking about my mom and... Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at this. I have an idea. I think we can fix this, okay? Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, just look at all this amazing art. Mm. Mia, stop doubting yourself. What really matters is your amazing art. But what if mine isn't good enough? You shouldn't think about the what ifs. Be back. I see an old friend. Are you the one I should talk to about buying this piece of art? You want to buy my art? Is it for sale? Uh, yes, it is for sale. <laughs> <laughs>